I'm doing this recipes, uh, oh, this recipe uh, with chicken and balsamic vinegar. Lovely. Recipe that I learned in uh, Modena when I was uh, traveling as I do with my other show, you know. Yeah, yeah. the other one. Yep. Yeah. Let's not mention it, but oh, it's, it's the, the other one. Show. I love yeah. it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, Amanda, yes. you're going to be in charge of the potatoes. I'm potatoes. Can you touch the skin? Yeah. Very good. Now, this has been boiled for 45 minutes. Right. And we have skins. to do it with the skin on. Yep. And with the skin on, you slice it one centimeter and you pour the half of this plate here. Philip, what I did here, I got a butcher. I went there, I bought a whole chicken and you cut it into eight pieces. You can do it yourself. Where is my camera? Here. You can do it yourself if you want. Otherwise, go to the butcher and we'll ta 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 ta. Do it. Easy. Olive oil. I in won't the pan. look at that one because that's your camera. That's, that's yours. Yeah. Well, that's mine, yours. I mean, name on at it. this point. Yes. Yeah. Now what we do, we put a little bit of olive oil in a pan. So, so far, no panic. You season the chicken, salt and pepper, you put it there. Philip, if you can brown around, please, for me. Very nice. Got Amanda, we'll use also this side here. Okay. Now, for Amanda, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a nice little dressing that is gonna go with the potato, with garlic, chili, and a little bit of parsley. Now, parsley, I'm using flat leaf parsley. You know, we've been doing this show for a long time. I hate the curly one. Yeah, I know you do. Mm. Oh, it's so woody. Okay, so flat leaf parsley goes here. Are you okay, Philip? Yeah, I find spitting a bit, but no problem. But that's why I'm doing the parsley this time, yeah. and you're doing the chicken. <laughs> I'll go somewhere else to go after. Oh, you Very important. You don't want to get oil on your shirt. I don't want to get oil. <laughs> <laughs> you can get changed in your dressing room here around the corner. Okay, now, <laughs> Philip, in it goes the pancetta. I'm using pancetta affumicata. You what go to an Italian mean? deli, smoked pancetta. Okay. You go to oh, an Italian look, deli. These are crumbling a little don't bit. Don't worry about it. Crumble is good, but leave me the space for the chicken here on this side. Okay, okay. sorry. So just pile it here. Okay, yes. okay. Pancetta goes in there. Thyme and garlic. If you can sprinkle a little bit of thyme, this is great because it's one of these recipes. You don't need the oh. oven, you don't need anything. You put everything on the top, it's fine. If now, you, let me by show the way, you. if you would like to cook this yourself, we found some of the latest supermarket offers for chicken, and you can see them at the bottom of your screen right now. Very nice. Now, I've got the garlic. Can what I, I want you to do with the garlic, what do you want to do? Do you want me yeah, to do what is here? What I want you to do with the garlic, you just crush it with the skin on, okay? And that yep. goes into the chicken. Now, Amanda, yes. you've got chili into the oil, and we've got garlic. I'm still okay. waiting for it to run across Ooh, the bottom of the screen, by the way. It'll be there. There it is. It will eventually. What's like the news? The now, news headlines. Amanda, what I want you to do, very gently. Now, everybody at home, come here, look at this. Can you see when the oil starts to sizzle, it's the time straight yeah. away to put on the potato, so because good. otherwise what's going to happen, the garlic is going to burn. So piano, piano, Amanda, piano, piano, yeah. on the potato there. OK. OK, mind you, because there's a sauce, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning of salt. Okay. Great recipe, this one. Are you massaging everything I'm there? I'm massaging everything. No need to put a black pepper, Amanda, no. because we got the chili, OK? Yeah. And then you can do a little bit of sprinkling of the uh, parsley. OK. Now, where are we with the recipe? We got the chicken in there. It's beautiful and getting brown. We got the pancetta, the smoked pancetta. We got the thyme, and we got the crushed garlic. Put the heat up, because now is the time to introduce the wine to the chicken. This one, darling, green. OK, yes. OK, now, have a look into the pan, everybody. Amanda, look at this. Looking. Can you see this bubble here? Oh, yeah. It's bubble? like a jacuzzi for chicken. It's like a jacuzzi for chicken, bravo. Yes. What it is, is uh, um, the alcohol of the wine is evaporating. The flavor of the wine stays in there. Because if you leave the alcohol, it will get bitter. OK, mm. 30 seconds, you need to do that. Then, on top of that, we're going to put a little bit of stock. You can use chicken stock, vegetable stock. It's fine, whatever you want to do. Give it about 30 seconds to evaporate the wine, though, yeah? OK? okay. So you put it in there. Now, balsamic vinegar. Are you a, a fan yes, of balsamic vinegar? Yes, I love vinegar? it. I love Which it. one do you like? The runny one like or the thick one? I like a quite a sweet, thick one. Ah, the uh, glaze yeah. is called. Do you like balsamic vinegar? Yes, I do. Yeah? What do you do? You cook with it or yes, you just I, use I, for I dressing? Sometimes dressing. I don't cook with it very often because yeah. it's quite expensive. I know, I know. You're absolutely right because there are two types of balsamic vinegar people mm. should know when they go to the supermarket and buy. There is uh, the commercial one, i.e. two or three pound a bottle, that is the one please do use for cooking because it's not expensive. Mm. You can use for dressing as well. Otherwise, there is what is called balsamic vinegar tradizionale, the traditional one, i.e. the one that it will take a good 16 to 20 years to mature. Mm. Okay, that one there, if you use for cooking, it's a bit of a waste of money. Yeah. Okay, so use the commercial one. It's the also normal. really nice on uh, strawberries. 
Yes. Strawberry. Oh, bravo. It's lovely. Bravo, Double bravo, pepper. bravo, pepper. bravo. Now, I'm using a glaze, but this glaze is not a traditional glaze, okay? It's a, the commercial one. So it's okay for cooking. You put it a minute, by the way. Yes, it is fine. You could put the glazes in there, okay? Now, at this point, what do you do, guys? It's simple. You cover with the lid, which uh, I got here. You let it bubbly away, piopare. You remember the, the piopare? piopare? You make it piopare for about one hour. Mm. 15 minutes before of one hour, you take the lid off and you start to caramelize the balsamic vinegar, which it happens very, very quickly. Look at the difference here. Wow, Can it's you like see? a gravy. So yes, it becomes like a gravy. The sauce gets thicker and the flavor of balsamic, it will completely explode into your mouth.